Hi, this is Ben with Harvest Profit Support. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a Harvest Profit account completely from the very beginning. When you first sign up for Harvest Profit, you're going to come to this onboarding page. This onboarding page is going to ask us a few questions to get started. First of all, we want to know what the farm or entity name you want to have set up for your account. On this page, you can set up your main entity name and click Begin Account Setup. On the next page, we can add additional growers or entities. So these, for example, could be a father or a brother, um, you know, someone else that you're farming with in your operation that you want to track their financials separately from yours, or maybe you uh, have an entity shared together with them. You can add those names now. You can always edit or change or add uh, entities later on in settings. The next step is going to be to connect your operation center account. And we're going to go ahead and click connect. You can sign in to your operation center account. And we can connect the organization that we want to pull fields and acres from, as well as any as applied data that may be in there for previous years or for the upcoming year. So from this page, we're going to select our R4 data set. Once our fields have loaded in, we can select the fields from Operations Center that we want to import into our account. For this example, we're just going to select one field that I know has information on it for the current year, and we will proceed. The next step is going to ask us if we want to add any additional fields. These would be fields that aren't connected to your Op Center account, so maybe you have a field that's smaller that you haven't recorded, or maybe it's a new piece of ground. Uh, you can add it here manually. We would still recommend that you first add it to your operation center account and import it so the fields are connected before adding um, any manual fields in Harvest Profit. The next step is to add any crops. As you can see, we already have a few crops added in here. If we need to add anything extra, you can search it in this list or type in a custom name and click uh, enter to add. We can also create budget prices and enter our average basis estimates on this page as well. The next step is going to tell us what we need to do to finish setting our, our account. Now that we have completed onboarding, the next steps are to establish field costs, uh, establish a crop plan, set up our inputs, and set up any applications and add inputs to fields for the current year. We can click Finish, and this will take us into our Harvest Profit account where we can get started entering data for the year. Now that onboarding is complete, we can go to the field and land costs page and set up our land costs or our crop shares. Customers may enter in their rental rate, a total payment for a land payment, or they can set up a crop share from this page. And we also wanna make sure that our acres are set to the acres that reflect the rented acres. These are not necessarily your applied acres as we will set those later in the crop planner. Once the fields are set up for the land costs, we can move right into the crop planner. And the crop planner is where we're going to let the software know what crops we're planting on what fields. We will also set up our planted acres or as applied acres. And we will also assign the entity that is operating on this field. So for this example, we're gonna select corn. Uh, we're gonna set our planted acres to 255 for this example. And we can see that the entity selected is our main entity that we have created. This would be in that example of having multiple entities where we would be able to select a separate operator for this field, or we'd be able to go to the top here, go to entity shares and create a maybe a 50-50 share or a 33% um, a share three ways, whatever it may be on your farm. Once you have shares created, you can select them from this drop down and add them as the operating entity to this farm. Once we have this entered in, we wanna click save to save that crop plan. From there, we can go to the applications page and we can start seeing that we have machine data showing up on this field. We have nine different applications from this data range and we can click on manage and start viewing those applications and importing them into our account. As you can see, we have, it looks like a urea and possibly a mix application. And we can import this data and the, the software is gonna ask us to either match this product to an existing product or to create it as a new product. Since we have not set up any inputs in our Harvest Profit account, we're gonna need to import 
all of our products as new products. So we're gonna select that fertilizer application. We will bring in this seeding or planting application as well. And we're gonna have to add these two hybrids to our account. And let's uh, also look at a tank mix or some other application on this list as well. This looks like a fertilizer for in for planting. We'll import these products. And let's import this spray application as well. So these all look to be chemicals, so we'll import them all as a chemical. So we're going to save these applications. And we can click into any of these and look at them. So our first one is our first application being our 200 pounds of urea, 125 pounds of AMS mix. That got applied on 263.94 acres. So we are pulling the applied acres from operation center. And we can view all these operations that we have imported in. We can view the acres and the seeds per acre or applied rate. At the moment, you're seeing costs all showing up as zero because the input costs have not been determined. And that brings us to the next page being our inputs page. From the inputs page, we can start editing our applied inputs pricing. You'll see the inputs that I imported from the applications page will all have a cost set to zero. For this example, I'm just going to put in estimates or guesses on product prices so that we can start seeing data flow through Harvest Profit. Uh, as I'm doing this, you might see me change the units. So for example, we're pulling in this application rate of this product per pound but I can go ahead and switch this to per ton for the pricing and the software will convert it back to the correct unit for the application. The next step is going to be overhead inputs. Overhead inputs are anything on the farm that we want to apply a cost to across the full acres without applying them to each individual field. For example, on crop insurance, if I want to add in a crop insurance cost for corn that is the same price for every field, we can go in here, add this corn insurance. We can go and put a cost of $22 per acre, and this will automatically apply to every acre of corn in our account. We don't have to apply this to a field. So all overhead inputs are applied based on the filters. So our filters are our crop filters and our field filters. So we can see these categories here, anywhere from insurance to fuel to labor, repairs, payments, other. And a unique feature about Harvest Profit is we can add as many custom categories as you see fit for your operation. So we can go add a custom name in here uh, maybe we want to create a equipment category. We can go and add that in there and click save. And we will now see in our overhead list, we have a custom named category for equipment. So this is a unique feature that allows you to customize the different line items you will end up seeing on your profit and loss later on. Since we've added our applied input costs, we can go back to the applications page and we can now see that we are showing costs for each of these applications because the software now knows the cost of each of those products and can calculate the cost of those applications. The other thing we wanna add on the applications page is gonna be our estimated yield. Our estimated yield for this will just be 250. And now that we have some costs, we have yield, we can now go to our profit and loss and start viewing a flowing profitability because we can show revenue through yield and expenses on the uh, overhead inputs and applied inputs. 
If you have any questions about how to set up your Harvest Profit account, you can feel free to reach out to support at harvestprofit.com and send us an email or go to harvestprofit.com slash call and set up a support or sales call with the Harvest Profit team and we will help you out with setting up your Harvest Profit account. If you have any questions, reach out to us and we're glad to help. Thanks.